Now your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast, supported by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Well, a good hot day out there today. Just a little bit above normal, but still hot. DHR Health Camera finding some clouds up there, not a whole lot. And you can see that over the past couple of hours, things have been just pretty much spot on the way we normally are this time of year. A few clouds, southeast winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and temperatures flirting with 100. Speaking of flirting with 100, the hot car thing. Well, parents, you have to remember to turn around and look in that back seat. When it's 90 degrees outside, inside the car, it's 125 in half an hour. Enough said. Hour by hour, let's break it on down to midnight. 82 degrees, warm and humid, and just a few clouds now and again. Bottom out temperature here, 79. So that's going to be your crack of dawn forecast. You're going to start out around 79 with uh, winds picking up throughout the morning. South wind 10 to 20 miles an hour. Those winds will be picking up as the day wears on as well. To call it breezy by afternoon, 98. The valley average high for tomorrow, 92 down around 6 o'clock. Now, when it's breezy like that, well, that gets us into a Category 2 garbage can alert that if it's empty and it's out there, it's over. You can see 20 to 30 gusting to 40 by afternoon. Temperatures across the valley, 98 at Harlingen, up to 101 at La Jolla, 103 out toward Rio Grande City, and everybody feeling like anywhere from 104 to 110 with the heat index. Hey, if you're heading out on the water, be sure to take lots of bottled water. You can't drink that stuff. And the waves will be about 3 to 5, and conditions will be choppy on the bay. Looking on off to the next several days with the heat index, what it feels like on your skin, never mind the air temperature, this is what your body thinks it is, 110, 112, 115, rolling on into the weekend. And remember, your pet's body feels it as well. So be sure, if you're walking the dog, stay on the grass or gravel because the pavement's super hot, and make sure your pet, no matter what pet it is, has lots of water and shade. Also, check those air conditioning filters. It's been a couple of weeks, and then you put it off, and then it's a couple more more weeks and the next thing you know you got Mr. Ugly over there and your air conditioner is struggling. Ah, as far as the allergy situation is concerned, well ragweed is going to be the number one concern. Dust is down, grass is down, trees non-existent, but ragweed is picking up the slack. Air quality, why does that have to do with pollen? No, that has to do with the Saharan dust. I said the regular dust is going to be basically low, but the Saharan stuff is still a little bit of it out there. So we're going to have air quality in the moderate zone on through the week this week. So if you have respiratory issues, be sure to take it easy. Now the tropical outlook is less busy than it was this weekend. We had a couple of other bits of activity out there, one of which was a little low heading toward the Windward Islands. That's gone away now. Now the focus is on this low that will become a tropical low and head on up paralleling the U.S. East Coast. No threats to the valley or the rest of the U.S. for the next week. If you want to check out a 30 minute live stream on our tracking the tropics, <laughs> tracking the tropics, mm -hmm. say that three times fast, valleycentral.com, click on it, click on weather and boom, you can go right to tracking the tropics or the other way around. Seven day forecast takes you through with lots of hot weather right on in through the weekend, pushing 100 degrees. Upper Valley, you're going to be pushing 102 to 104 out west. Absolutely, brutally hot. That's a look at your storm tracker forecast.